Good morning guys and welcome to the Coolie Craft Corner. Today is a Thrifty Thursday video which is hosted by Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming. I will have her listed in my description box. Go check out her channel, click on the hashtag and see what everyone else has thrifted this week. So I'm going to start out my haul. Um, there was a couple different places I went but this uh, particular haul was a trip with me and my husband and baby Jay uh, to celebrate our anniversary. We just passed 14 years married, so we went to celebrate that, and we actually went into a couple little antique stores. So I picked these up from an antique store. Very pretty. Gorgeous, like blue, purple, and yellow with the blue. I love those. This fabric is going to be for future farmhouse journals. It didn't really fit the colors I was going with for this um, particular journal that I just completed, but nonetheless, I really liked that. And then this fabric was awesome. I couldn't leave it behind. It's got cow, horses, this weird clown, a uh, snowman. I mean, it was just such a beautiful patchwork. And the colors on it are gorgeous. Hopefully they're showing up. While well, I'm looking in the viewfinder, they're sort of similar to how they are in person. This is a little bit more bright. I think my lighting in here is not the best. But got this gorgeous fabric. So that plus um, something else that is going to be in my giveaway. Um, so I'm not going to show it because I want it to be a surprise for the recipient. Um, so I've set that aside. So anyways, I got those four items. Speaking of the giveaway, it closes on November 24th. There is still time to enter, so please go watch that video and comment below, um, below that video to enter. All right, so I have been working on an 80s journal by sourcing material. And I went to a thrift store and I bought 80s patterns. These were quite reasonably priced. I'm just gonna do a quick little show of them. Some of them are gonna get fussy cut, I think, and put into the journal. And then other ones um, might become their own journal, kind of like this particular one. I'm not gonna cut that out because the person I'm making it for was like a teenager in the 80s and this screams like real estate agent circa 1988 or something I don't know 1985 but some of these I thought were fun she might be able to relate to some of these outfits this one was what year was this actually oh this one was a 78 okay so this one is going to go in my 70s stuff 81 but she might have had some similar clothes. This one's nice and thick, lots of paper. I don't even know if it's been cut, honestly. It looks like it hasn't been. So lots of simplicity, a few Butterick's. Like I can just picture her potentially wearing this in the 80s. I don't know if she did, um, but I could picture it and this one kind of made me laugh. I was going to ask my husband if I could make make us matching like nightgowns and see what he says. These are kind of cute. A lot of pajamas. Um, the recipient I'm making it for loves Molly Ringwald. And back in the 80s and 90s kind of had her hair cut similar to this. And so I thought it might be fun to kind of particularly to put her in there. Whoops. Sorry I bunked you guys. More fun patterns. And then this Care Bear book of bedtime poems. It's junk journal ready. It's ripped up. Um, but it's got some cute pictures of the Care Bears, which she really liked. So I'm going to try and fussy cut some of these and put them maybe in some tuck spots. Oh, the sheep. The happy sheep. Sandy. Wilhelmina Sandy. Look at that. Cute. So yeah, this is going in there. Um, into the book journal that I'm making. All right, the next set of stuff are some little golden books. And if you're watching this today on Thursday, um, at 3 p.m. or yeah, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, Angela the Traveling Crafter and Carol from Crinkle Path are going to be auctioning off or bidding, however you want to word it. Um, buying, selling off 
their um, extra little golden books. And I think they have over 200 books that they're getting rid of. So definitely um, check out Angela's channel. It's going to be a live sale. So the ones that I picked up are Elmo's 12 Days of Christmas, Chicken Little. This was one of my favorite childhood ones when I was a kid. Um, so I'm definitely not getting rid of this. It's going to stay with me. Elmo's Tricky Tongue Twisters. The Princess and the Frog. I actually picked this up with someone in mind. And 101 Dalmatians. And then these two books I bought because I was influenced by Texas Tammy of Texas Sweet Tea Treasures. She loves the Rand McNally books. And I found these two. Um, and the pictures are so cute. I mean, look at those little mice. I love that. Um, I think these books were quite reasonably priced. The pages are nice and thick. They're in fairly good shape. Oh, Rip Van Winkle. Let's see. What is the copyright from Kevin's book here? This one. Uh, 1978 edition. Printed in the U.S. So I got that. Let's see about this one. Oh, this one is not owned necessarily by Kevin. And it was... Printed in Yugoslavia. Interesting. Um, it looks like the latest copyright date is 1965 on here. The font is quite large. Little Cinderella. Love that. So, Tammy, I thought of you. This book is a hardcover Friendship Ideals. Um, copyright 1961. So it's got, I think, one page coming out. Let's see if I can. Maybe it's not. Oh, yes. It, was, it, it wants to come out right here. This happiness adds and multiplies as we divide it with others. Beautiful font, though. Like, I love that. They make a gorgeous page. Even this border would be such a pretty, like, to kind of cut around and put it on the edge of the page. Gorgeous book. Picked up that. Then I have one other bag of goodies, which we'll start with these playing cards. Um, I don't think they were 25 cents. I can't remember. I put one of these in my homestead journal that I sent to my friend because it does look like little homesteads to me. I'm just going to try and get the colors to reflect as accurate. Um, awesome cards. I got another set of cards. Look at all the different price tags. I don't know what I paid for these. But there are these really pretty flowers. And you got some with cherry blossoms. It's got cherry. And some with just a blossom on it. So I thought those were nice to go in my playing card collection. Um, Yogi Bear had to come home with me. This was really big in my in-laws' time. They talk about watching Yogi Bear when they were kids. Um, or like teens, I guess. So I had to pick this little precious book. I got some type of pom-pom trims. Let's see here. They didn't have a ton of colors. I picked most of them up. But they had these kind of like fun ones that'll go great in my 70s journal. And let's see. Is there another one? No, just the green is really thick. So I got this. I'd love to get some more small pom-pom trim to go with the colors that I have. Um, I would love some red since it's my favorite color. I got this Madeline book. I think I actually have a copy of this. Um, but you can't go wrong with her. So I picked that up. Pretty good price. Oh, and I love this. It is a giant pattern. This will make an awesome oversized journal. Like how fantastic is that? And the pattern is from a company out of Portland, Oregon, which is originally where my family is from. So that was kind of special. I got some extra file folders. There's a couple colored blue ones in here, it looks like. Um, but I like to use these for making my journal cards and backing, um, backing book page or whatever. Like when I make my painted carrot one, 
I backed it on some book page and sometimes card stuff just depends. This um, best recipes file is just a book of pockets. And so I thought, you know, for vintage cookbooks, how cool would it be to like cut one of these off, glue, you know, glue, reinforce that, and then just have these pockets where people could also keep extra miscellaneous recipe cards or maybe ones that are written down on paper that have been passed down. The pictures are kind of cool and I've just never seen one of these like file folder pocket systems before. So I picked that up. So in case you want to see what the last few look like. Miscellaneous recipes. I got that. And I believe these are the last two things. I got another country cookbook um, book. <laughs> Copyright 1971. This particular um, copy. And there's not a ton of photos. I really bought it for the cover because I think that some of these would make really cool mini journals where you could put in a few recipe cards. There's very few photos. They're basically right here in the center of the book. Um, but I just, I don't know. I like the covers. I think that it would make a cool journal, like a ring bound journal in itself. I got these Sesame Strink, uh, I don't know if that's the price, but anyways. The Tiddle Bug game. I remember I had a vintage coloring book um, of Sesame Street and it had these bugs and they were playing in like a garden. And so it reminded me of childhood and I just thought they were so cute. So I got those. Okay. And I think that concludes um, everything here. So to conclude, definitely check out Angela's live sale today if you're interested in little golden books. Please go enter my giveaway for subscribers. I would love to have more participation. Um, I appreciate everyone who has subscribed to my channel. It's been so fun getting to know each person and what they like and um, it's something that I really enjoy. So for now, I will say goodbye and I will see you guys in my next video.